Hi, it's Don Sanders, and I am here to present chapter four of my How to Sell Promotional Products book entitled How to Obtain Clients. After all, that's the number one thing to do if you're going to be successful in this industry. And I want you to know that I am here to help you the best way I can. And Tiffany Tarr, whose picture is shown under me from Distributor Central, also wants to help you sell promotional products in a better way. Distributor Central makes these presentations possible and gaining new clients must be an everyday occurrence. In other words, you must have a plan in place and you must work it constantly. Now you find clients today by making cold calls, using social media, creating referrals, using direct mail to bring in prospects, or use guerrilla marketing, which I formerly call that expert networking. But since we can't network like we used to, guerrilla marketing will be required. Distributor Central is the premier industry technology provider and can help you with your search engines, search engine searches with your uh, order placement and anything that you need to do such as company stores and the like to increase your business now cold calls are developed from clients that develop clients from unknown sources the benefit being it increases your customer base approach that's organizing a plan and never deviating the obstacle being extreme tenacity is required in other words you must not be easily cowed are afraid of objections. And to be an expert cold caller, you've got to know how to handle objections. And you can control those by limiting product choices. That means not giving people too many things to look at that keeps them from making a decision, impressing buyers with your expertise, delivering on time, and always doing what you say you will, and handling silence the right way. That means when someone does not call you back or ignores you, knowing how to ignite them to call you or to contact you. That is how to control objections. Social media marketing has become more prevalent in prospecting and they are necessary to build solid relationships. And you've got to use social media to create and maintain relationships. And one of the greatest examples I can give you and this presentation is my recent trip to Yellowstone National Park. I posted about three photographs a day on my five day journey up to Wyoming and Montana, and you couldn't believe it, but one of my customers sent me a picture that's the top on the right side of the screen of a beautiful waterfall and Glacier National Park and said, hi, Don, it is Connie and Eric. Have you ever been to Glacier National Park? Well, I have, so when I responded back to them, that I had been there, I built up my relationship with them. And many orders will be sold because now I know they like national parks and they like to travel. That's a bond that will last forever. Now referrals are the greatest way to be able to increase your business and need to be 30% of the total volume you're writing. That definition is business created by past performance. The benefit, the best method, is, it is the best method to increase your order flow approach. You've got to have consistent service and innovative product recommendations to be successful. The obstacle being that it requires a high level of competence. In other words, to get referrals, you've got to know what you're doing. But after all, aren't referrals the greatest compliment that a client can give you? And after I get referrals and I do the right thing with my new customers, I take what they say and use those for testimonial marketing. In other words, I tell others how I help them and that gets me even more referrals. Now, direct mail is in the news now more than ever before because of mail-in ballots. So I'm gonna use direct mail to my advantage because people are paying more attention to it. I build prospect lists, in other words, the people that I'm going to mail flyers to that I create with my logo. You're seeing a pink products flyer from Southern Plus that has my logo on it. I will create these. I will go run copies of them and just mail the heck out of them to customer list that I have created by calling and by doing web searches. 
In fact, I use students to do that for me. So my time will be left to sell. I create my flyers and I mail them over and over again. And then I leave voice messages for recipients after several mailings, asking them if I can come see them or how we can proceed. And please notice that $5 off an order coupon on the screen right now from Distributor Central. You get discounts on orders from large suppliers on Distributor Central. Great way to make a little extra money. Now the guerrilla marketing, which I mentioned, to me is the new networking. Hard to go to events today when they're not happening happening as frequently as they were. And remember, every dentist has a back door. That means instead of networking, or networking, if I want to call on a dentist, I leave a sample outdoor mat or an imprinted mat with a catalog at the back door because that's where the dentist goes in. That's the decision maker. I leave that on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because that's when dentists are off. I know that they will pick up my material and I am getting to the decision maker right then and there. And another way to do it is to do the same thing with realtors who have open houses. A realtor has an open house from one to three on Sunday. Go by about 12 o'clock, leave a, a mat, leave a note, leave a catalog. And you know that realtor is the buyer. That's the decision maker. What I do after that is wait two days and then call them. Now, Tiffany and I are here to help. You're seeing Tiffany on the screen right now. Right now, There is her email address, her 888 phone number. There's my email address and me at the last industry show. And remember, Distributor Central will help you do a better job. And using technology today is another great way to find new clients. Thank you so much for listening.